Hey everyone, welcome back to Couch Conversations with Sasha Love. Today we're gonna have a conversation about perfectionism, the P word. But before we dive into that, I wanted to put in a quick plug for my podcast, Couch Conversations with Sasha Love, available on Anchor and Spotify. I'll put a link also in the caption for you to click on to take you directly there. In these podcasts, I dive deeper into topics I introduce here on YouTube. There's a lot of good stuff in it, and I would really love for you to take a, a moment to listen. Once you do, feel free to share your thoughts with me either on Instagram at shayfly21 or via email at sashalovecc at gmail.com, all lowercase. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Pop your melanin, girlfriend. Pop your melanin. Pop your melanin, girlfriend. Pop your melanin. Girl, you black. And you beautiful. Girl, you black. And you beautiful. Dot your I's and cross your T's, right? Make sure everything is done right. Make sure every assignment is turned in on time. Make sure you're never late. That book is always returned right at the due date or earlier. Make sure you park exactly the way you're supposed to park, exactly in the same spot. Make sure you cook that meal to the tea. Your outfit is always on point. And the list goes on and on and on of all the different meanings of perfection that we have. In case you didn't know, perfectionism is impossible. There is no way to be perfect on our own. We're human. We'll make mistakes and we are imperfect. So then why is it perfectionism is sometimes so tempting to want to achieve, so tempting to lean into? There could be several reasons. Sometimes it's the satisfaction knowing that you did everything right. Sometimes it's to hide your insecurities. Sometimes it's done to avoid heartbreak or hurt. Sometimes it's used as a coping mechanism to avoid something. There could be many different reasons and for you it may be different. But regardless of the reason why you got to that point, it's important to know that perfectionism is not the way to deal with anything because it's not something that can be achieved. It also does more harm than good. It can affect your self-esteem. It can affect your sense of self-worth. It can be difficult for you to create and maintain boundaries. It can make it difficult for you to know what's within your limits and what's not. So while perfectionism is tempting to try to do, to try to achieve, to try to be the one who can do it, the one who has it all, the one who knows all the answers, it's actually very harmful for you. And it's completely unrealistic. Instead, I challenge you to want, I challenge you to take a closer look into why you feel like you need to be perfect in a particular area of your life or in all areas of your life. Did it come from an experience you had did it come from something that someone said? Did it come from a hurtful experience you had? Are you afraid to face your insecurities? Are you afraid to show the world who you are? I challenge you to kind of take a deep dive and figure out why is it for you, you feel the need to be perfect? Because I can tell you this, you don't need to be perfect to be worthy. 
You don't need to be perfect to be surrounded by people who are excited for you, who support you, who love you as you are and as you grow. You don't need to be perfect to start that business. You don't need to be perfect to work on those dreams and to achieve those dreams. You don't need to be perfect to start that career, to finish that degree. You don't need to be perfect to be a great parent, to be a great spouse, to be a good friend. You don't need to be perfect to live an abundant life, to live free. You don't need to be perfect to be happy. In fact, when perfection is shown the door and stays out, life can often have a much, much more true and vibrant meaning for you. So what are your thoughts? Share them below in the comments or you can message me via Instagram at shayfly21 or through email at sashalovecc at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay well, carry compassion and gratitude in your heart, and remember that the best is always to come.